Okay, so this code that I'm going to put in right here now is basically code to just make the search bar look like the Apple search bar. So it's going to make all the shadowing look right, make the transition from when it's uh, from when it's small to becoming larger. It's going to make all that look right and similar to Apple's uh, search bar. So when you get to here, I'm going to have a pop-up picture right here, but you're going to paste in or you could just uh, type in this code right here. <clears throat> And I'll try to remember to put the code the code in the description so that you guys can just copy and paste it rather than having to type all of it out. But I'm just going to go through everything and what everything means in this code. So this web uh, WebKit border radius and Moz border radius is basically what it what it means is um it's basically the curvature of the search bar. So at the end of the search bar, there's going to be curves at the end. And if you want it to just be pointy, then you wouldn't have a border radius. But if you want it to be curved or rounded at the edges, you would include a border radius. And the amount of pixels you want the border radius to be, you could just change on your own. And then there's another border radius. And uh, we have three of these just because uh, different internet browsers, they use different, um, you know, different means of getting to that border radius. So it's important to have more than one option and when you're uh, typing in code so that if people that are using Chrome can see the same outlook as when people are using Safari or something like that. And so now this is text shadow and it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just, you know, creates a shadow for the text that you type into the search bar. And um, this is just basically uh, like uh, aligning it to how you want it to be. And this RGBA for all these things, RGBA, that's uh, changing the color of it. I already have my colors programmed to, uh, to make it look like apples, but um, <clears throat> if you want to change it, just go ahead and knock yourself out. And this WebKit shadow, box shadow, and all this stuff, these three lines are basically just uh, creating a shadow for the search bar. And because, um, you know, most most search bars or uh, just most things that are really up to date and that look nice have a shadow on, on the computer. So it's important to have uh, shadows if you really want it to look professional. And these last four pieces of code are uh, just creating transitions for when it goes from the small search bar to extending out to the to a larger one and basically you can see here that it happens in uh, 0 0.7 seconds roughly and so uh, again it's good to have more than one way of getting to that solution so that in different internet browsers you can get to the same solution but every internet browser can uh, can have it done in that way so I know it sounds confusing but once you guys type it in I'm sure you guys will get it and so now after input type equals text up here, we're going to create another one and you're just going to type in input space begin bracket, um, excuse me, type equals quote unquote text. And then we're going to end the bracket, colon, focus, and then space. And now for the background. Uh, you're gonna do background colon space URL uh, parentheses and I'm just gonna get the URL over here and make sure you put it in quotes quote URL end quote and again I'll have all these URLs in the description so you guys can do it and this URL is gonna be the search dark and the URL for just a regular type equals text is just going to be search white at the end. That's how you can differentiate the two. And then it's going to be no repeat, the same as the top. Oh, sorry. And then it's going to still be no repeat, the same as the top one, at 8, eight pixels uh, by 3 pixels. And, and for the color, it's going to be EFE. Whoops. EFEF. -E semicolon and the width is going to be 200 pixels so you can see that the width here is different from the width here and because this is this one is uh, when it's being focused and basically when it's being focused is when you click the search bar and you're not hovering over it hovering over it over it or anything sorry it's just when you have it uh, when you have it basically in your foreground window or when you have it active um, then it's going to expand to 200 pixels. Then semicolon. And then uh, and then you want to just type in 
all, all the box shadows and the radius and stuff and I'm just gonna copy it from a different document and paste it there but this is this is where you put in all the box shadows all the um all the border radius and stuff and it's definitely not as much as the beginning one because this is only gonna be uh ent this is only gonna be entered in when you have that focused on um but again uh, I'll have the image up right here so that you can just copy and paste it and uh, you can get the right cosine. And so now after that, you're going to type in input space begin, whoops, I want begin type equals quote unquote text and then colon hover. And actually, I'm going to change this up here to that. Sorry about that. You don't have to do it, but it's just easier for you to differentiate the two. And so now you're going to type in background. And this one's for hover. So basically when you hover over the search bar, this all this code that we're about to type is going to be um, executed. So now you're going to type in background, colon, space, URL, uh, whoops, begin parentheses, quote, unquote, unquote. And this one again is going to be search dark. So you can just copy it from up here, but it's going to be search dark, and then end parentheses, and it's going to be no dash repeat at 8 pixels. So it's a really uh, just repetitive process. Um, once you do one, then you're really going to get all of them, which is really, uh, which, uh, which I really like about code, is that when you do one thing, then you're pretty much going to get everything uh, get it get everything else like a domino effect sort of and after the back on your URL you're gonna type in margin uh, oops, sorry uh, colon space auto 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 you don't have to do four autos uh, <laughs> I know it sounds weird but I just do that so it's easier for you guys to um, understand and so basically what's happening here is that it's auto um, Auto placing, auto placing the margins for the search bar, so that uh, we're not really influencing it in any way. It's just automatically doing it by itself. And now for the width of the search bar, we're gonna do 200 pixels. And now again, we have to type in all the box shadows and text shadows and borders and uh, border, sorry, and radii, if that's how you say it, plural. But I'm just gonna copy it from a different document. Paste it here, and again, I'll have another picture showing all of the shadows and uh, borders that um, that are uh, that are basically needed for the for the hover code right here. And so, after you type in uh, the box shadow, text shadow, and the border, uh, what you can do could do now is make sure that uh, basically all your tags have endings because the worst thing is creating all this code, then opening it in your internet browser, and then just not figuring out that it's not working. And what's even worse is knowing that it's going to be something stupid, like you not ending a tag correctly. Okay, so basically once you have all your codes done and you make sure that all your tags are ended and begin, correct and begin correctly, you can now go to File and then just click Save. And now that you've done that, you can um, open your internet browser of choice. Mine is Firefox. And once you're in your internet browser, you can go to File, Open File. And then you can go to uh, what, whatever you called it and just click Open. And now you can see that we have a search bar. And then the best part is when you hover over it. Oh my gosh, it goes. I know mine's lagging, but it's only lagging because I'm capturing the screen as well. It won't be lagging with yours. But you can see, uh, I can click it, I can type, it has a cool shadow. If you don't like the shadow effect, you can change it. If you don't like the color of the font, you can change it. Um, but yeah, this is just a tutorial on basically how to create a cool uh, uh, Apple-style search bar in, for your HTML website. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, uh, and be sure to watch my other videos. I have a whole playlist on HTML videos, and make sure to click that so you guys can learn some more about it. Uh, please be sure to subscribe and thank you guys a lot for watching. Alright, thanks. Peace.